Hey, Justin Rule here from Spare Websites, here to show you how to add a header menu to your navigation. A lot of you have a site that might have a single um, call to action or no navigation. So when you get here on your dashboard, when you log in, simply go to the top left of your screen where your site title is and right click on the visit site and open in a new tab. Uh, when you do this, you'll see your launch kit um kind of in the front facing side and you probably don't have a menu here uh, some of them do some of them don't so let me show you how to edit that so simply go up to the top of your front facing page where it says Ele edit with elementor you'll see the header and the footer listed there so again right click on the header open in a new tab it's just a good best practice kind of keeps things separated and you're just going to be able to edit the header now Typically, uh, some of you would see uh, this. You know, you might have a phone number up there and your logo on the side. Um, but now you're adding pages, contact, bio, team, services, which is great. Hopefully our tutorials are helping you create that content or your blog. So the way that you add your menu in this space is simply right click on your logo column and you'll see add a new column. And that's going to add a column. It always adds it to the right of whatever column you're on. Or if you happen to be on a row, it will add it below it. So in this case, we're going to add new column. We're going to go to the logo column since it's on the left. We're going to say add a new column. And you'll see it automatically will divide this into thirds and throw in a column for you. You can drag the edges of these columns on desktop to adjust the, the size of your logo in the space that you want here for the menu. So if you want a menu that sits in the middle, what you can do then is go up here to the top of our screen and you'll see the grid of uh, options here. And when you click on that grid, you'll see navigation. All you need to do is drag your navigation menu icon into this space and let go. And you'll see whatever's in the main navigation will jump in here. So while this is in here, we're going to go then to the left and we're going to choose to right align that. Okay. And then you have a couple options. You can see there's an underline uh, element that shows up here. So you can simply choose none, in which case when you go over the menu, it'll simply just change to the hover color. So let's just do that. And then this is saying, at what point do you want it to change to the mobile? We call it a hamburger menu on tablet or on mobile. So typically we'll change that to mobile which would then say once we get to a mobile view, you'll see the common three line menu. And then when it's on that hamburger menu, um, again, you can actually change that, um, but you can say, I want it on the right hand side of the column. So if we simply did all that, and then if you go down to this icon here on the bottom, you can view it in the different views. So this is the tablet view. I'll show you how to adjust that. And then the mobile view, you can see it makes it a hamburger. So let's go ahead and style that up a little bit on desktop. If you're fine with that, um, that's how we would go on tablet. You obviously probably want your number to be up there next to it. So what you'll do is right click on this column for the menu. And when you edit that column, you'll be able to choose the width. So let's just call that 50%. And we'll take a little guess here that that's about 2550. So if we go to this column now, and we want to up next to it, obviously they need to add up to 100, and so rather than 80%, we can make that 25, and it'll jump up there next to it, 25, 50, and 25. Um, you can see there's a little space there, so again, you can kind of play with this percentage here to see how much actual room that you get, so we can get 30 in there. Um, I'll show you how to change some fonts and different things, but now we have it on a single row, um, depending how many menu icon, menu elements you have up here. Um, one thing you'll want to do is right click on this menu. So again, right click, edit navigation menu. And obviously this is the, where it also, I should have pointed out, you choose the right menu. So um, I should have done at the beginning, but you can now say, hey, I want this to be the main menu. Uh, on the menu page, which is in another video, you can um, add elements to each different menu. Um, but right here, you can go to style. And this is where you would choose the colors that you want for the menu or for the hover. But the horizontal padding, you can adjust here to see how much space you want between those elements. 
So now that we have a tablet menu that looks good, we can go down to mobile view down here. And then we'll see, okay, we've got our logo, our menu over here, and this. So let's just make a creative decision here. We'll change, again, right click. We're gonna edit this column and say on mobile. We want you to be all the way over there. So we'll say 60. Um, and down here, we can take this and make it 100. And that will bring it all the way across. Now, some of you might want those two switched. So the way we would switch those, um, again, this will drop down your menu. Um, if we if we have here, uh, if we have it on the top, and that might cover your number. So let's go back to the desktop view. And again, these are all just creative decisions you can you can be making as you edit these these menus. Um, this column again, it always is going left to right, top to bottom. So technically, what you you want is this menu to be below your number. So one way you can do that is simply take the blue menu and drag that over underneath the phone number and let it go okay and obviously then we have this column sitting out here which we can now delete because we don't need it so we can right click delete and now we have a menu phone number you know all laid out here we can drag these to you know adjust it accordingly um, and you have your menu now you could again take this menu right click on it because we're going to edit this element and we'll go over to content now we could center that menu in the space. You can right align it. There's a lot of things you can do here, but what that allows is when we go then to tablet. Okay, now we have to adjust our columns now because we're playing in a different sandbox. So we're gonna call that 70 to bring that all the way over to the edge. Maybe we can get away with 80 here. So now we've got that little cleaner on tablet. And then on mobile, we now have these elements stacked, we just don't want it below the logo, so we're gonna edit our column and make it 80. Or let's get it low enough to get up there, try 60, there we go. And then your logo is on one side, your phone number and your menu is underneath that. If you wanna play with the padding, again, right click on the element in question. The padding's a little more advanced, so that's over here in advanced. And you can say, hey, right here on this padding, uh, let's put a little bit of space around that. Now, you can unlink it, and that will allow you to directly control the above and below padding. And now you have a little more. Again, you could to right click on this text, whatever you might have up here. This is actually our phone number if you need some help with all this. Um, you can sign up for a consultation and simply pay for that online. And we'll actually walk through and edit and perfect all this stuff right there for you if you need help. But this line height, you know, you can adjust that there. There's a lot of options in Elementor. That's why we love it. Um, you can change your colors here. You'll get the hang of this, but this is in style. So basically style and visual, style encompasses anything visual, contents the actual element, and then advanced is, as it says, a little more advanced padding. So hopefully that helps you add a menu, however you're looking to add a menu. And if you need help beyond that, feel free to ask. Just click the green update button when you're ready for it to go live, and it'll be live. All right, hope you're doing well.